Hello my friends and welcome to the 2019 super minivan testing video. So as you can see this is the uh, the perimeter racetrack on the uh, on the industrial area map in beamng.drive which is a map that I really like because this thing ha this map has drift course, rally course and uh, a, a compact racetrack with really really tight corners which I really love. So uh, in this video, my friends, we'll be testing all the 14 cars that uh, has passed all the rules and uh, got exported to BBG.Drive in a correct way because, unfortunately, lots of cars in this challenge got disqualified because the total number of the car that has participated is, um, as I quite remember, 26 cars and then there are, there are like 6 cars that didn't actually make it into this challenge because they were made on the previous and the old automation version so unfortunately the new LCV3 automation version didn't allow me to import them unfortunately I, I, I tried to re you know to relaunch the game so many times I tried to move them out and into the import folder and unfortunately I couldn't import them you will see the evidence on on discord uh, and on what exactly the game showed me so these six cars unfortunately are out also there are other six other cars that got disqualified because they have broke uh, those cars broke the eco rule which is 30 mpg uh, you know minimum unfortunately those six cars also didn't achieve the 6 uh, the 30 mpg so all they uh, they got is disqualified also that leaves us with 14 cars only that uh, has passed has passed all the rules and ready to run and ready to rumble on our bmng uh, dot drive game so my friends uh, this is the car that you are seeing here it's called the rumba v8 this is the prize for the for this challenge this is a special prize the version that i've shown you in the past for the rumba it was the base version, you know, the rubbish version, but with the time, I upgraded this thing with much, much better. So, you know, a component like suspension, brakes, and so on. So, I have a little surprise for you. This is not a spe this is not a regular van, I promise you, because this thing has, let's see, this thing has a 4.4 liter V8 under the hood, all-wheel drive, and it's twin turbo, obviously, not. Not exactly, because this thing also is supercharged. So my friend, this is a twin charge vehicle. This thing has a twin screw supercharger and twin turbos on it with 764 horsepower. Yes, my friend, 764 horsepower, exactly. Uh, let's see, dual clutch, all wheel drive, it's a monster. Not only that, this, this thing also has nitrous oxide and a special surprise so let's fire it up as you can see it's quiet it's beautiful right yep it's a flame shooting monster i'm not kidding Look at that. As you can see, currently the nitrous oxide is disabled, but... So let's make a lap. Absolutely crazy. So that's pretty much it my friends. The winner of this video, the winner of this challenge will get a copy of this amazing vehicle to drive in his Beam Angel Drive in a straight line on drift course on racetracks and have so much fun with it. So, my friends, enjoy this video and tell me which one of those 
14 cards that you will be seeing in a moment. Tell me which one did you actually prefer and why? Tell me that in the comment section. And now let's move on and let's start testing those 14 cards so we can pick a winner. So let's move on my friends. Alright my friends, so the first card that we will be start testing with is it's called the, the, Ven the Venturo Delta. That's the name of it. This card has scored the highest total category points ever in this challenge which is 443.2 total category points from its 5.5 .5 liter twin turbo v8 engine making 351 horsepower and uh, 4.9 seconds from 0 to 100 this thing has front wheel drive and it can do 43.5 miles to the gallon so the design of this thing from the rear this thing looks absolutely amazing look at the amazing details like sporty angry details vents everywhere badges delta as you can see 5.5 turbo the the venturo uh, tail lights looking beautiful the head the headlights are normal not that special really but uh, it looks cool it has so much vents that will make the engine becoming so cold in winter single wiper in the middle that's really cool you know, racing car touch-ups, uh, roof racks, carbon fiber, as you can see, uh, window trim, which is really unique. Also, we have like a side skirt, also carbon fiber, which is really cool. I like, I like, I really, really like the details on this thing. So let's see how this thing will actually perform. As you can see, transverse engine placement, front wheel drive only. So. So as you can see, this is the perimeter. Uh, the perimeter race track on the industrial area. I need to be really careful with the throttle. Yep, the exhaust is gone. That's a beam NG error. I don't want to use the handbrake. That will be unprofessional. Because, you know, on the race track, you don't use the handbrake. You just brake in steer and throttle out so yes uh, as I was expecting not much really fast but a good number still a pretty good number because uh, I think what ruined this thing is so so much horsepower on the front wheels yeah I mean in a straight line 4.9 seconds from 0 to 100 that's really good but around corners traction traction control off uh, I mean, I tried really hard to balance the throttle to keep it, you know, tidy, but, you know, a tiny bit of throttle because this engine is really torquey. Uh, it's a V8, with, you know, to start with, which is really cool and torquey, you know, on natural aspirated. And I, if you add to that the twin turbos, I mean, so much torque on the front wheels. So, yeah, wheel spin on in every single corner. And with front wheel drive, wheel spin, it's not really your friend because you will understeer and you will hit the tree. So yeah, that's pretty much for this thing. 41 seconds, 41.6. All right then, so let's move on with the second best, uh, the second best, you know, on the highest total category points vehicle. Okay, now this is the second best car with the highest total category points. I'm, when I'm when I say second best car, I, I don't mean the best, you know, in performance. No, I'm talking about total category points. The eight categories that you need to add together to get your total you know total number this 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 car here or this vehicle has scored the second place so this thing is called the cadet gt4 this thing has scored 423.4 total category points from its uh, twin turbo v6 engine 3.5 liter uh, 318 horsepower and 5.5 seconds now this thing looks absolutely realistic i like the front end or the front you know of, of this thing it looks very realistic the headlights i mean you look at it and you see yes this is a 2019 vehicle the headlights the grill the uh, like the fog lights and you know those led they uh, you know they they're running lights as you can see we have a rear sliding door action uh, the rear is looking pretty normal as well no, not much details you know but looks cool we have rear parking sensors a wiper the badge looks normal very very normal and yes the exhaust is down because of the beam ng you know error in its in its latest update and every car from automation game will you know will have uh, its own exhaust fall to the ground on on a corner when it's slowed and whatever so let's see how this thing will perform traction control off all right so acceleration is much better because it's all-wheel drive 
much grippier suspension is good really good I like the tires that are really grippy I know if I use the handbrake I will get around much quicker but no I'm not gonna use the handbrake because this is a race track not a drift track 40.3 already beaten the first car which is really cool 40.3 it's actually much better as you have seen on the track less wheel spin so much grip the suspension is working pretty nicely and I think it's a little bit lighter because it feels much nimble than the previous vehicle good work on both cars now let's move on with the third uh, with, the, with you know with the top or what, what do they call the, the third best vehicle in, in the in the total category points area Alright, so the third car that we have here, it's in the it's in the third place when it comes to the total category points. It's this thing is called the El Hague Populous RS. I think that's the name of it. This thing looks like a racetrack ready like super minivan. We have a massive front splitter which looks absolutely angry and beautiful with it with those headlights and those like I don't know vents and fog lights in integrated into them. We have front parking sensors, uh, you know, a front camera. We have all the amazing details, uh, wipers, which mounted in a, in a unique way. We have, let's see, what are these on the side? Lights, what are these rivets? I don't know, what are these on the sides? And we have a rear tow hitch or rear tow hook as they call it. So we can so we can tow this thing in automation in, in Beam Engine Drive. You just load uh, load up a trailer behind it, press L so you can uh, activate the rear tow hook, and then reverse into it uh, so it can hook automatically. Then switch to the uh, to the caravan or whatever so you can you know uh, so you can lift lift it up so it doesn't hit the ground and then drive off with a with a trailer or whatever you want to tow behind you, which looks absolutely crazy. I like the details. Everything is looking beautiful. Rear front spoiler or wing whatever you want to call it it looks absolutely crazy so the El Hague has 465 horsepower scoring also 419.1 total category points 5.3 liter v8 twin turbo 4.7 seconds so it's a pretty quick car oh, acceleration is really good I like it, acceleration is much harder. Suspension feels soft, soft and gooey. No handbrake, no handbrake, and in. Alright. Suspension is somehow soft, but it handles good. I can turn in sharper. And the exhaust. It didn't fall. 39.5. Ooh, the quickest one so far. So yes, as you can see, more progress. The previous two cars are good. You know, they are sporty, comfortable, safe, blah blah blah, whatever. But as you can see, some cars are not the best when it comes to you know, you know, when it comes to comfort, safety. But they are good on the track, as you have seen on this, because this thing has front, uh, like massive front splitter, which helps aerodynamics, helps getting it grippy around corners the previous two cars didn't didn't have those two you know didn't have like the rear spoiler the splitter they are good but not not really fast on the track so pretty much good my friends let's move on with the third with the fourth one all right so the first the fourth car that we have here it's called the um it's a Chinese name, so I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's called the CNM, that's how I'm gonna call it, because in Automation Game and Beam Engine Drive, the person who created this thing wrote his, its name in, um, in in Chinese, not English, so I don't know. And yes, the front splitter is somehow disintegrated. Let's try and fix it. Alright, so I tried really hard to load this thing without, uh, you know, crashing it, but I tried like more than a hundred times to load it and the front splitter keeps on falling off I mean I tried so many times look I will try right now here we go it keeps falling off this is like a hundred and one so far not only the front splitter also the exhaust is keep falling off so I apologize my friend I I can't do anything about it so this thing this C 
and M, that's the name of it, although it's a Chinese name, looks absolutely brutal, I love it, the front splitter looks very crazy, the headlights, the, look at the, the hood vents, they look absolutely amazing, I mean, the, the lines, check out the lines, the lines are going so well with the hood, which I really, really love, you have carbon fiber side mirrors, sliding door action, the, the rear is looking beautiful, also we have like a rear uh, it's like a carbon fiber body kit, it's, uh, you know, side skirts, rear bumper, front splitter, everything is beautiful. And I apologize, but the game keeps on making the car, you know, bumps when it, when 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 the car loads, it will bump on on the and on the on the tarmac, which keeps which which keeps making the front splitter and the exhaust falling off. That's not really cool. So I'm gonna try. Uh, and uh, you know be as fast as possible on this track so this thing has scored 411.5 total category points 600 horsepower v8 engine 4.5 liter turbo 3.3 seconds so this thing is a monster so hopefully we can control it oh soft suspension Hopefully this horsepower will translate to to quick time, not just a waste. What a machine! Doesn't want to stop, so. 37.1 pretty quick i'm very very impressed with this thing this thing is very quick and uh, grips nice that's the name of it in chinese so yeah unfortunately i i couldn't uh, make the front splitter and the exhaust work so yeah that's the name of it i called it the c and m yeah so pretty much good that's pretty, pretty good actually 37.1 and 185 that's really really fast so let's move on with the next thing the next card is called the pressure sport that's the name of it scoring 410.9 total category points this thing has a three liter twin turbo boxer six engine 353 horsepower and 4.9 seconds from zero to 100. the design of this thing looks very very amazing angry headlights angry grill angry everything from the front sleek futuristic and aerodynamic aer aerodynamical i love it the chromey i always hate chrome rims but on this thing they look absolutely amazing they look like they fit the profile the, the only one thing that i don't like about this thing is the door handles i really don't think they they should be in this area uh, let's see the rear is looking also futuristic and crazy on its own the tail lights are just a thing of its own as you can see parking sensor rear you know rear view camera and those beautiful uh, i don't know antennas or maybe what do they call them you know like you know shark tails aerodynamical things on the roof we have a we have also a um, a panoramic roof which is also cool so let's see boxer 6 power ah oh, yes rear wheel drive i i really need to be careful This thing likes will spin. Forty-three point one. Hmm. Not really the fastest one because it's rear-wheel drive and the grip. It's not really there. This thing likes to, you know, spin around. It's it's fun. It's really fun. I'm impressed. I tried hard uh, to control the throttle and I'm sorry I couldn't get it to get you know to be extra quicker. So good work, my friend. I love the looks of this thing. The engine is really beautiful. The gearbox ratios are good, but yeah, on this track you won't actually win the trophy because of the wheel spin of course but good work again my friend let's move on with the next thing okay so the next vehicle that we have here is called the eagle pacific lxe now this thing looks like a luxurious uh, somehow sporty 
you know, as you, as you can see, Elite, it says Elite, uh, you know, super minivan. Has the, it has those, you know, those expensive chromy rims and expensive chromies, you know, the w w window trim. We have also panoramic roof. The front is looking very beautiful. The side is pretty normal and, you know, modern and beautiful as well. The rear is looking also cool. Pacific LXE badge, Eagle, parking sensors. Everything is looking very, very decent. The exhaust, where are the exhaust? Well, um, the pipes should be here, not there, but apparently they are here. But, yeah, who cares? We are having so much problems with, the, of course, the exhaust. And look at the wiper. It will start from, from top down, which is really also unique. All right, let's see how this thing will perform. But first, the Eagle Pacific scored 404.2 total category points, 352 horsepower, 4 liter twin turbo V8, and 5.3 seconds from 0 to 100. A little lazy engine, maybe because this thing is heavy. Oh, the exhaust is gone. Damn, I hate this thing. I really hate our beam engine drive for releasing such a bad update. I mean, everyone was, everyone is loving the exhaust, the differentials in automation game, and beam engine has ruined it. Ruined it really hard for us. Hmm. Apparently, my nephew is here. My sister too. Wow, I need to finish this quick. 39.8! Whoa, I was... That's really cool, actually. This thing is luxurious. I mean, it's, I don't know. No, I, I, I really don't think this thing has, you know, luxury interior. No, but looks luxurious. But it drives nicely, too. 39.8. Pretty quick. I'm very, very impressed. So, let's move on to the next thing. Good work, my friend, indeed. Alright my friends, so the next car that we are going to test is called the Aquarius Elegance, that's the name of it. It's in the 7th place when it comes to the total category points. This thing has scored uh, 396.2 total category points from a 284 horsepower V6 twin turbo, 2.9 liters and this thing goes from 0 to 100 in. 2.9 sorry in five seconds sorry not 2.9 that was a 2.9 liters but this thing goes from zero to 105 seconds uh let's see the design actually this thing looks absolutely amazing from the front look at those those angry headlights a beautiful angry vents also the hood is looking beautiful the the with the wipers with, with their amazing vents and the window washers the side is looking very cool the roof is looking also pretty normal Sounds really good. The badges, the exhaust, everything, as you can see, semi, uh, I think semi, semi space frame, aluminium chassis, looks absolutely cool also. So let's see how this thing will actually perform. In a minute, let's see traction control off. Oh, the exhausts. Thing may be low on horsepower, but it's good. It's really grippy. Suspension is working pretty nice. 39 and a half. That is really good. 39 and a half. 39.552. Pretty nice number indeed. This is the Aquarius, and now let's move. Let's move on with the next thing. Good work, my friend, indeed. So the next vehicle, it's called where is it? It's called the the Suros. That's the name of it. The Suros PV40. That's the name of it. This thing has scored 395.5 total category points. It's in the eighth place. From its uh, 229 horsepower, let's see, 2.6 liter inline four turbo, 6.9 seconds. So this thing has an inline four. Yep. As you can see, the the Surus looks uh, very, very you know discreet. As you can see, look at the, uh, the the wipers are, you know, hidden in their own special way. The vent is also looking very cool and hidden. You know, looks uh, pretty normal. Nothing special. The tail lights are extremely unique in their own special way. 
badges they are here and uh, nothing special really so let's see how this uh, inline 4 car will uh, or inline 4 van will actually perform this thing actually is uh, grippy Oops, a little bit off the track. This thing actually drives nicely. Forty one point four. Yep, it drives really nicely around corners, but uh, I mean the horsepower. It's not really, uh, it's not really that much to be honest with you. This thing feels a little, a little bit heavy, and you know the engine is not really pushing that much torque and that much horsepower. That makes it a little bit slow. But around corners, this thing is actually fun. It's not boring at all. But in a straight line, yes, I think this thing will be boring in a straight line. But around corners, it's grippy, it's nimble, and it feels uh, good. Although it's a, it's a little bit heavy, but it feels good, not bad at all. So good work, my friend, and now let's move on with the next thing. Alright, my friend, so the next thing, it's called the Guzuri, the G-U-S-S-U-R-I, that's the name of it, the Guzuri Coil CVS, that's the name of it. This thing has scored 394.2 total category points in the ninth place. Uh, let's see 375 horsepower 4 liter v8 twin turbo five and a half seconds from 0 to 100 now this looks like um, a typical minivan I mean the typical minivan body as you can see uh, the front end looks uh, pretty normal the rear is also pretty normal we have a tow hook which is really practical uh, we have a panoramic sunroof which is an amazing touch very modern very you know prestigious and uh, wipers everything is pretty normal nothing nothing bonkers nothing that says look at me i'm an angry car no this thing looks very discreet very elegant you know for the normal family but who knows maybe this thing is crazy under the hood maybe this thing will actually be an amazing you know track car who knows it looks boring a little bit but who knows maybe this thing will surprise us on the track or not who knows all right Accelerating, not that, not that bad actually. The exhaust is gone as usual. It's grippy, but the roll angle is spoiling the fun. It's grippy, it's powerful, but the roll angle is rubbish. Oh my god, this thing wants to drink. Come on, turn in. Roll angle is spoiling all the fun. Drifting the last corner. 40.0. 40, 40, exactly. So, not bad. Not bad indeed. As I've mentioned before, the, the roll angle is spoiling the fun. This thing is grippy, it's powerful, but this thing keeps bouncing from, from one side to another, which is not really, not really what he calls sporty. It feels it really it, this thing feels like a regular minivan like a regular minivan stock suspension with uh, like a powerful v8 up front that's it doesn't feel that much sporty to be honest with you the springs are good enough but the roll angle just keeps this, uh, this this van bouncing from one side to another so good work my friend let's move on with the next thing okay so the next vehicle it's called the serene s-e-r-e-n-e -E, serene s that's the name of it this thing is in the 10th place, scoring 391.1 total category points, 438 horsepower, 4 liter V6 twin turbo, and 5.2 seconds from 0 to 100. Now, the design of this thing, as you can see, looks very, I don't know, it looks somehow modern and a little bit retro, to be honest with you. I mean, it has the modern fixtures, but the headlights are screaming retro look at me i'm from 1990s or from two early 2000s uh, let's see the the side is looking oh i like the side i like those chromey lines that look absolutely elegant and prestigious the rear is looking somehow similar to a land cruiser the a modern toyota land cruiser i like it it looks absolutely 
amazing the badges are a little bit big yeah a little bit large i mean all wheel drive dfi they 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 look really big we have a huge panoramic roof which is an amazing touch so this thing is luxurious uh, and we hope that that is sporty also so let's see this thing has a transverse mountain v6 yep hmm, all wheel drive i think so let's see how all wheel drive or maybe rear wheel drive so let's see all wheel drive okay The exhaust are looking beautiful. Yep, and they they said goodbye. So the brakes are a little bit weak. Yep, the exhaust. Uh, sorry, not the exhaust. The brakes feels. Come on, turn in. It's not really grippy. Tires are, you know, they feel cheap. Not grippy at all. But yeah, it feels heavy. So 40, 40.4. It's not bad, but the tires do doesn't feel that much grippy, to be honest with you. Also, uh, not only the tires, the suspension feels wobbly, a little bit softy, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. The, the engine is pushing nice amount of torque, a good amount of horsepower. The gearbox ratios are good. So good work, my friend. Let's move on with the next vehicle. All right, my friends. So in the 11th place, we have the Lacera. Uh, enter enter that's the name of it this thing has scored uh, let's see 387.8 total category points from its 310 horsepower three and a half liter v6 twin turbo 5.8 seconds from 0 to 100 now this thing looks uh, very elegant really look at the, look at the front grille everything is looking you know normal and elegant and prestigious the side is looking very normal we have some sliding door action we have uh, also a panoramic roof a tow hitch which is, which is really you know practical uh, as you can see regular exhaust pipes you know small and hidden uh, the rear is looking pretty pretty normal pretty elegant let's see we have the inner badge lacera looking very cool actually i like it look looks like a normal minivan the front the front doors yeah they they feel they look a little bit small to be honest with you i appreciate you know the passenger room in the back but also the front the front passenger you know area should be a little bit bigger bigger than this but it's not bad looking is looking this thing is looking very nicely the rims are pretty normal we have huge front discs brake discs so yeah i think this thing will stop so let's see how to perform lots of v6s and v8s single boxer six so far single and line four and the exhaust are gone lots of dual clutch i haven't seen any sequential oh no, no not sequential because sequential is not allowed i haven't seen any automatic or any manual all right yeah only dual clutch everyone loves a dual clutch so the tires are not really grippy yep Gear ratios are a little bit heavy, but 42. So, yeah, as you have seen, the engine is not really that powerful. This thing looks looks slow, to be honest with you. The suspension feels wobbly a little bit. The tires are not that grippy. The brakes are really powerful, but tires are not helping at all. The suspension feels, as I've mentioned, wobbly and a little bit softy. So yeah, it's it's a nice car to drive on the road, but on racetrack, racetrack, no, you will lose and lose badly. I mean, 42.1. Hmm. So far, as you can see, the numbers are good. Some of them are really good. Some of them are not. But yeah, I'm going to try even harder, see if we can crack the first number. Who knows? All right, my friends. So the next vehicle, as you can see, this one is called the Regal Toro People Transport. That's the name of it. Well, first glance, well, when I looked at this thing, and I'm sure that you, every, everyone, everyone that is watching this video will think, of course, this thing has a V8 under the hood. It's a massive van or massive people mover. Looks pretty American. It looks, uh, and it should, should have like a massive, you know, Chevy small block or Chevy big block or maybe a Ford Coyote or maybe a Hemi under the hood. No, 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 no. That's not the case here. So this Regal Toro 
has, and I'm not kidding, 3.3 liter inline four turbocharged engine, 327 horsepower and 5.5 seconds from zero to 100 and scoring 382.2 total category points. So no V8s, we have four cylinders only, turbocharged, so who knows, maybe this thing will be uh, a fast thing, maybe it will be a slow thing, who knows. So the details on this thing, uh, let's see, the rear is looking pretty uh, pretty nice actually, that not, not, that, not that bad. Look at that massive and beautiful looking rear yeah, we call it rear grill, the exhaust, single exhaust pipe, and a tow hitch or a tow hook looks very practical. The side is looking pretty decent. Look at that massive rear door. Can you imagine open the door in a normal way, not in a sliding way? It will be, I mean, the angle will be huge. We have, wow, we have quad or double roof racks because this thing is long. Although you can act, you can actually stretch them. You can actually stretch them, but I think he he wanted to put like you know a middle bit, and I and I and I understand why because it looks good actually. The the hood I like the hood vents they look absolutely crazy and sporty. The front is looking also angry and aggressive. So let's see. I'm impressed and I'm, and I cannot wait to try it. And three wheel drive by the way. Mischief bit, it's okay. Exhaust is gone, which is typical. So far the this this super minivan feels normal, nothing sporty so far. Suspension is wobbly, feels heavy. And short gears. I really don't understand why short gears. Forty-two point nine. Hmm. Wow, we are coming up close to forty-three, but forty-two point nine. So it's not really the best one here. It's not really the quickest one, but it looks massive, and and the inline-four engine in it works. It works nicely. It's not that bad actually. Uh, I mean. People will think I, you have a V8 under the hood when you drive this thing, but four cylinders and they work pretty nice. It's not a small four cylinder, it's a 3.3 liter, so it's a big inline four, it's a big heavy one. Good work my friend and better luck next time and, and the next challenge. So let's move on with the next thing. Alright my friends, so the next vehicle it's called the Raptor RR, that's the name of it. Uh, this thing looks actually pretty angry. I mean, look at the front end, the screaming angry, look at me, I'm gonna attack every single corner, I'm gonna be a reliable car, and I'm gonna be practical and good in every way. I like it, I like angry cars, they look much better on the road, scaring everyone. That's much good, that's pretty good, and also the taillights are also somehow beautiful. I, I understand the idea behind those taillights, he wants to put like this bit and this bit but yeah this this middle this middle point here doesn't really work that well but it's i like it i like this concept and i like this middle bit raptor and this black flag back there looks absolutely cool our r sport and as usual the exhaust is on the ground ah pretty typical for this version of what i'm of v1 Gelo drive let's see uh we have some sort of unique looking panoramic roof I like it. I like this vehicle. So the uh, Raptor RR has scored 374.9 total category points, 529 horsepower. Oh, that's a massive engine. Five and a half liter V8. Finally, a massive size and uh, twin turbo. So yeah, uh, 4.2 seconds. So let's see. Oh, I'm impressed. Grippy, powerful, pretty nice, I'm impressed. Thirty-seven point two. Oh my god, look at how close this thing got. Thirty-seven point two. 
How amazing is that? 37.2, so close. Whoa, so close indeed. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. This thing is really grippy, really powerful, really impressive. And for a moment, I thought maybe it will crack the top of the first number, but it was very close to the, the so the first car has 600 horsepower. This thing has 500, what is it? Yes, uh, this thing has 529 horsepower. So this much difference actually made this 0.100 of a second. That's really, that's really impressive. Wow, the, the numbers are really good. So let's move on with the final car. All right, my friends, uh, this thing, it's called the Mums car. To be completely honest with you, this is not the real name of this people mover or this van. The person who created this thing, he called it, he called this thing something different. And I can't pronounce it on YouTube because I, don't, I really don't think they will allow to, they, they will allow me to pronounce it. They will put like, uh, flags on this video because it's not really appropriate so I've changed it from the name that he called it uh, to this the mum's car because it's pretty much the same thing but this one is more polite more appropriate so yeah my friends in the in the next challenges make sure you yeah, need to choose polite names not not really you know not really those names so this thing it's called the mum's car that's the new name of this thing looks uh, pretty much aggressive I mean, pretty normal from the front, normal, square, everything is square, modern, elegant. But this is like a push bar. I don't know, maybe maybe the, the person or you know, that, will, that will drive this van will crash into people, who knows. Also, the uh, the rear of the car looks sort of like, like a truck. I mean, look at those classic 1950s lights. I mean, I'm not, I, don't, I don't understand why they are here. I mean, this this is not a truck. This is a minivan, not, 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 an, not like a GMC Suburban. Also... The turbo badge. Look at that. Look at that. There's a turbo and there is an X on it. So yeah, apparently it's a naturally aspirated vehicle. The first one on this challenge, because this thing, the Mums Van Mark II, it has scored 370.5 total category points, 283 horsepower, 4 liter and uh, 4 liter V6 naturally aspirated, and 6.3 seconds from 0 to 100. This thing has a tow hook, as you can see, which is really practical. So, let's see how this natural aspirated engine works. Oh, we will drive. This thing doesn't feel it that doesn't really feel that that much sporty. I mean, yes, it's rear-wheel drive, but it feels really heavy and also not grippy at all, unfortunately. Oh my God, 47.1. Ooh, the slowest time. Oh no, no, no. That's that's not really that's not really good, my friend. I mean, I was expecting it like 42, 43, not 47. Mm. I am terribly sorry my friend, I tried hard to control the throttle, but this thing is not grippy at all and the suspension feels like like driving on a cream pie, not not on asphalt to be honest with you. But it's, it looks good, I like the square front end, looks pretty normal and uh, you know, somehow modern, but everything else is looking pretty, to be honest, pretty boring to be honest with you. But good work, the engine works, the engine is torquey, powerful, the gearbox ratios are not really that well. The suspension, as I've mentioned, you know, very wobbly, softy, and too much wheel spin. Yeah, too much wheel spin because of the gear ratios, unfortunately. But as a concept, I like it. You need the first ever natural aspirated vehicle in this challenge. That means people still love natural aspirated power. But this thing needs a little work to be much better than this. So good work, my friend. So we have all of our data. Let's move on and choose a winner. All right, my friends. So these are the winners of this amazing challenge in the first place we have the chinese uh, car you know chinese name i don't know how to pronounce it i called it the c 
the CNM, that's the name of it. This thing has scored uh, 37.185 of a second around this uh, test course or around this trace track, which was absolutely crazy. It looks absolutely amazing, angry, beautiful, fast, 600 horsepower, the lot. All the amazing things that you want in an amazing uh, super minivan which is absolutely crazy uh, so congratulations my friend on winning this challenge in the second place we have the raptor rr that's the name of it a pretty angry and sleek beautiful looking miss super minivan which has scored 37.252 got extremely close to the uh, to the first car the chinese one got extremely close to it uh, you know when it comes to lap time and it was very very close and very very exciting This one is very grippy very powerful and very amazing to drive on the track in the third place We have the L Hague this thing. Uh, where is it? Yes, the L Hague Pop Populous RS this thing has scored Where is it? 39.519 of a second around this amazing test track also this thing looks like um, I don't know. This thing looks like a racing, or a racing van, not really a, not really a family minivan. But yeah, it looks very cool and very fast and very grippy. Also, uh, it's not really that. It's not really close to those two vans. Like these are in the 37s. This one is in, is in the 39. But still, one of the quickest ones. So good work, my friends, uh, and good work on creating so many, you know, creating those amazing vehicles. So congratulations, my friend, on winning the Roomba V8. Enjoy it, have fun with it, and enjoy supercharging and, of course, blowing all the flames and nitrous your way in a straight lines and around every single corner. I hope that you enjoyed this video. So tell me which one of those 14 cars was your favorite. Don't forget that in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Get subscribed, share the video if you want to share it. And of course, uh, you can check out my Patreon page if, if you want to download this Roomba V8 with its flaming exhaust, supercharger, nitrous oxide, 760 horsepower V8, all-wheel drive, dual clutch. It, this thing is a monster in every single way. It looks very like a sleeper minivan, very sleek, very normal, very boring actually. But underneath it is a monster living under the hood. If you want to download it with all of its glory, it's available right now on my Patreon page alongside with my other crazy cars like the uh, V16 Queen, the Toyota A86 and other other crazy crazy machines that I did in the past. So if you want to download all my crazy cars, not these cars, no, these cars are uh, not mine, they are created by the viewers. So if you want to get those cars, you need to contact the viewers, but I'm talking about the Roomba and my other crazy creations, yeah. You can get those only on my Patreon page. If you download those cars, you'll be supporting the channel and supporting the next challenge and the next video. And of course, you will receive a special thank you on the on, on the end of the next video. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you very, very soon with, more with, a, with a new challenge and more amazing videos. And goodbye for now, my friends.